Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to create a traceability between an Excel sheet data and Simlink model. I will use the Simlink requirement toolbox which was previously called Simlink verification and validation toolbox, in short VNV toolbox it was called. And this kind of traceability is very much important for people who are gathering their high level requirement in some tools like Microsoft Excel or Word or <coughs> other platforms like Doors and they do the modeling in Simlink and they want to establish a traceability link and hyperlink to trace between where uh, they have done the implementation. Okay, to begin with I have already created a sample Excel sheet with few data like I just created some ID specification like test and some signals, values and parameters. And we'll see how we can uh, design a model with and uh, link the parts of the model with each specific uh, or specific data in this Excel sheet. So for the model, I won't design it from a scratch because this is just like I want to focus in this video on the traceability aspect. So I'll take as one of the demo models provided by Mathfox in their uh, environment, which is called VDP, Van der Poel equation. Yes, and I will use this uh, model to do my activities. But before I do something, I'll just do a save on this so that I get a local uh, saving. I have to cancel first. I just copy this part. Control C. I go back here. Do a save as. And I just make it as VDP. Yeah. So I got a sample model VDP1 uh, on which we will do the uh, our traceability. So we can uh, start like say for example this part of the model is connected to say for example uh, row number uh, 3 which is this ID number 2 and all those things. So we can do that but before I start uh, doing the uh, linking or tra tra uh, traceability establishment I would like to convert this into uh, this model into few <coughs> subsystems but that will appear nice although this uh, model is very very simple for us to create it uh, for to give an okay this is to create a subsystem yeah it's, this model is simple to show the real uh, benefits of having traceability because in simple model you know which part of model is doing what but if you have really very very big and complex model it really becomes difficult at times and traceability comes into the comes in handy so what i'm doing over here i'm just converting uh, probably this also into a subsystem so i have two subsystems and few blocks which i leave at this level and now let's start doing traceability so let's connect this game block to say for example uh, test 2 so i just select the test 2 data in the my excel sheet uh, come back to my Okay, I do side by side. I just minimize this. Yeah. So test two is selected in my Excel sheet. Come to my Simlink model. Right click on this, and on right click if you have the toolbox license and installation done on your machine, you should get this option over here. So just uh, hold over uh, the requirement option, and then you will get few options like whether you want to link it, <coughs> link it to a selection MATLAB, Word, or Excel. I think it also supports other tools like doors and uh, I think XML format uh, also but uh, I'm not sure why it's not appearing here probably it's not open in my case that's why or it's not installed on my machine that's why. So in our case we are trying to link this to an excel sheet so I just clicked here and that's it done. So this is linked to my test to data. So how you can verify it there is two options one is you right click on this. And you go here uh, back again in the requirements uh, option in the context menu and you will see the place where it is linked. So it is linked to test 2. Of course you can link one uh, block to more than one uh, uh, place also. Say for example this block you want to also link to apart from test 2 to test uh, 6. So you just select test 6. Right click and then let's go to here and link to selection to test 6. Now if I come here, it will be showing both test 2 and test 6. So to both the data, this particular block is linked or uh, yeah, the a link uh, is established. This is one way how you can figure out whether a particular block is linked or not. 
But what if in a model you want to just highlight the blocks which are having this traceability linkage because you can't just right click on each and every block to figure out that. So for that an easy option is you go to analysis menu on top and then in this requirement just highlight model. So in this it will highlight <coughs> all the blocks which have some or the other kind of traceability established. So I'm, I, I think inside this also there is some traceability already established. I think I was just doing some uh, practice uh, uh, before this video and that's the uh, result of uh, that particular practice. So for the sake of this video what I will do is I will go here and see what it is uh, linked to. So it's linked to one well, I don't know what it is so I will probably first delete it so that uh, I'll delete all outgoing links to this object so it becomes a normal uh, block and again now I link it to say for example test 3 so I just select this test 3 and link it to again this one so it's, it got uh, got linked to test 3 I can quickly ver verify this way yeah it's linked to test 3 I go back to one level up and probably in this block also I link uh, this summation block to uh, test 4 I go here, top, 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 done, okay. Now, uh, since we have done the highlighting, so it will highlight all the blocks which are having some kind of traceability. Now, if you want to really uh, quickly trace uh, that, okay, if you want to really figure out which this particular uh, block, gain block is linked to which particular uh, place. So one, so even if this access sheet is closed, so save it by just close this access sheet. It's not like uh, I just save the uh, data and close it. You can just right click over here, go to requirements and click on uh, probably you want to figure out where this test two is. Just click on this, and and it will open the access sheet for you and point to the place where this data exists. If access sheet is quite big, it will automatically highlight the place where it is linked to that column or the cell where it is linked to. Okay, so this was for one to one uh, if you want to go to the requirement document from your model. But what if you want to get a kind of two ways uh, traceability? So the best way is to generate a report out of this uh, model uh, for your uh, requirement and that you can go do by going to requirements and then in the reports you can just click on this generate report. It may take some time based on your, the complexity of your model and then it will give you a nice HTML format report. In, in this HTML report, all these things will be hyperlinked. So first part will be the model information and the second part will be the traceability summary which is like which particular document this particular uh, model is linked to and all the other details. But I think you can come further down and from here your actual traceability data starts. So in the first part is showing that uh, this is your main uh, top level uh, model. and in this the objects in VDP1 that have requirement links are so on the left hand side it shows you the objects in symlink and on the right hand side it shows you the data the requirement data so if you click on this hyperlink it will open the model and if you want to find figure out the respective uh, data you can just click on this it will open the extra sheet with that particular data if I point to this one it will open the other one which is test 6 yeah Similarly, for each subsystem, it will break down and open the subsystem and show you that uh, that subsystem is linked to the, which one you have to just click over here and it will take you to that particular uh, uh, location in your Excel sheet. <coughs> Similarly, for other, other subsystem, subsystem 1, it, on the left hand side is the uh, simulant block and on the right hand side is the uh, particular location in your Excel sheet. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is all about uh, traceability using a uh, simulating requirement uh, toolbox, which is which they have named from I think Meta 17b onwards, but they still use it like simulating verification and validation toolbox. So, uh, still in the uh, previously, as it was called VNV tool toolbox, so many people do understand still with VNV verification and valid validation toolbox. So, both are same. So, you can use this toolbox not uh, to create this kind of link not only between uh, symlink uh, file and the uh, excel file but you can also use other uh, documents like word or doors or other matlab document also to create this kind of link <coughs> uh, 
and uh, yeah so you can create and uh, for a fairly complex model and fairly long list of uh, data it becomes sometimes very very useful to use this kind of tool okay so i hope this uh, video was useful to you if you have any questions regarding this please put it in my comment section and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and have a nice day bye